Well, a toddler is in critical condition tonight after nearly drowning in a west side retention pond. A second child was also pulled from the water, but is expected to be OK. That's good news. If anything on your side, Brianna Ray Turner is at that apartment complex where this all happened. Brianna, what are the neighbors there telling you such a sad story? Yeah, Dusty, well, I've been here since earlier this morning. A neighbor's been going in and out of the complex telling me that toddler was just about two years old and learning how to walk. And I talked to a witness, Kira Willer, who tells me it was such a tough scene to watch, but her prayers go out to the families. A family's worst nightmare. I just heard a lot of screaming, so I looked out my window, and the pond's, like, right there. So I seen a lady, like, in the pond, and, like, an officer and, like, one of the uh, workers who uh, work out here. And then I seen like them like lift a baby out just out of, out of the water. Police were called out to the Madeline Oaks apartments after a resident saw two kids in the retention pond. Kira Willer says after police pulled one of the toddlers out the pond, they immediately did CPR. It was very hard to watch because I have my own siblings and I was like really scary because you just never know. And it's really scary to watch somebody's baby like lifeless like that. Police say the small child was sent to the hospital and is currently in critical condition while the other child is okay. Police say early indications show the children may have wandered off from one of the apartments. Whoever was there might have not noticed until it was too late. Like they might have been like doing something else, but it takes time for a baby to get down the stairs. That's why I was a little confused myself. Police also want to warn families who live near retention ponds to take extra caution. Be cognizant of retention ponds. If you have small children, uh, put a lock, lock up high on the door or get some of those uh, those uh, plastic locks to prevent kids from opening a door handle and just uh, be cognizant. Police are asking for the public's help for those who uh, may have wit witnessed the incident. Um, and you can call crime stoppers and remain anonymous. I'm here live in Jacksonville. Brianna Ray Turner, First Coast News on your side.